Hello friends, heartiest yes, greetings and a warm welcome to my channel Quick Poetry Knowledge. This is your hostess Mehjibin. Today, I am going to narrate the summary of the poem Character of a Happy Life. This poem was composed by Sir Henry Wotton, who was an English author and diplomat and politician. He sat in the British House of Commons in 1614 and in 1625. Sir Wotton travelled frequently and he spent most of his life in Italy. His literary works weren't too many and as far as his poetry is concerned, all of his poems achieved publication after his demise. Sir Henry Wotton lived between 1568 and 1639 and he is perhaps best remembered for his poem Character of a Happy Life. Another popular poem of the author is O oh, His Mistress, the Queen of Bohemia. And now I will start with the summary of Sir Henry Wotton's poem Character of a Happy Life. The poet says that a man who is taught not to submit to the wishes of another person is a happy man. His honest way of thinking is his strength. It is this quality of his that is going to protect him from all troubles. Simplicity and truthfulness are his biggest achievements. Such a man does not allow his desires to control his thoughts and actions. He is a brave man. The thought of death does not scare him. Mentally, he is prepared to face death whenever it comes. Such a man is also free from materialistic achievements. He does not hope for the attention that the royalty get. He also knows how to distance himself from vulgar stuff. A happy man is free from envy. He does not harbor jealous feelings for those who seem to be better off in life than him. He does not lean towards vicious thoughts. He also does not know how to hurt the feelings of another person by flattering him excessively. He keeps away from pomp and show. He is only committed to doing good things for others. A happy man is one who has never involved himself in the task of spreading rumors. He has also not paid attention to rumors spread by others. What gives him solace and protection is his conscience because it is always clean. His life is such that flatterers cannot influence it. Even if a happy man is destroyed, his destruction cannot make the lives of his attackers any better. A happy man passes his time in prayers. Thoughts of God occupy his mind at all moments. He always has ample reasons to be grateful to God for his benevolence. While praying, he does not ask for gifts from God. In fact, he thanks God for all that has been given to him. Such a man is also happy because he passes his days and nights either by reading a good book or by enjoying the company of a good friend. Such a man is always free from the negative influence of groups of flatterers. A happy man does not cherish any hope to rise in life. He is also not afraid of falling. He may not own land or property, yet he is the master of his life. He may not have any material wealth, power or position. However, spiritually he is rich. He is an enlightened soul. His selflessness has brought him closer to God. As a result, although he owns nothing, he has everything. He is a joyful man. His soul is at peace. Well, that's all for today. Consider subscribing to this channel if you appreciate this type of content. Check out the playlist and I'll meet you again very soon. Bye.